Hey everybody, my name is Ryan and I'm the owner and builder here at Kokomo Vans. Today we're taking a tour of this van, Sanibel. And we're lucky enough to have my friend Fabiana here help us show off the build. Sanibel is a 2023 Ram Promaster with a 159 inch wheelbase that I bought brand new for this build and there are less than 500 miles on the odometer. And this is the first van in our signature Florida Coastal series. Each consecutive build will be unique and named after a beach here in Florida that its design is inspired by. So this van is named after Sanibel Island that's right off the coast of Fort Myers here in Southwest Florida. And now at the time of posting this video actually, Sanibel here is gonna be up for sale. So if you're interested in purchasing this van or future builds by us here at Kokomo Vans, head down to that description for more information. This build has a rather spacious floor plan with a fixed bed, full kitchen, and air conditioner, and two swivel seats up front. There's no shortage of countertop space with this butcher block going all the way over to the bed up against this rattan divider. And this floor plan was chosen for a couple reasons. It has an insane amount of cabinet storage, a very comfortably usable kitchen space, and a large garage space for surfboards, snowboards, and bikes. This van was basically built for long-term adventures in any season. Right behind the swivel seats here is this step built to house the Webasto heater. The heater points straight down your hallway to circulate hot air throughout the entire van. It runs on gasoline and it's tapped into the main gas tank of the van. Also inside this step is a little compartment for storage and a hammock. And that's because this van actually has a hammock mount. Simply hook it up to these two hooks and you can lay in between the two countertops. The mounting system has a weight limit of 200 pounds and is actually quite comfortable. And in my last van, I had a hammock just like this one. And it was really useful when uh, like friends and family came over to visit in the van. And I didn't want them really sleeping in the bed with me, you know, that's kind of weird. They just slept in the hammock and it was pretty comfy for them. For cooking here in the van, you have a two burner induction stove top and a toaster oven. And I like the induction stove top over propane because it's safer and you don't have to worry about any sketchy propane fumes or leaks or anything. And underneath that, you have your 57 liter 12 volt Dometic fridge. It has a good amount of fridge space and it also has a freezer. Also down here, you just have a ton of storage space. You have two really large cabinets and five drawers to store just about anything you want in there. Oh, and I almost forgot to point out, there's a little countertop light and an outlet over here. I'll talk about that thing later, that's a later thing. And on the opposite side of your cooking area here, you have a big stainless steel sink. The sink basin here is big enough to comfortably wash pots and pans. And it also has this cool little strainer built into it. So you don't have to worry about little food bits going down into your gray water tank. On this faucet here is extendable. So you're actually able to swing it outside and mount it on the door to use it as an outdoor shower. You're able to store up to 20 gallons of fresh water in this tank that's covering the wheel well here in the garage space. To fill it, connect a garden hose to this one-way fill valve here and watch the dial. If you accidentally overfill it, that's no big deal because the water will just go through the breathe port and fall out on the bottom of the van. Also underneath the van is this 26 gallon gray water tank. And next to the sink here is this bench. It houses your Thetford toilet, an off switch for your water pump, as well as a valve that lets you bypass the water pump to drain the water tank for any reason. And now on this side of the sink, you have this beautiful grain matched countertop. It's great to use as a table for the passenger seat, but it's also really helpful for when you're washing dishes. Inside this cabinet underneath the sink is a great place to put something like a trash can and any cleaning supplies you might have. And this seven gallon blue jug you see right here is an optional gray water tank for in the winter. I would use that if it's too cold outside and you're worried that the external gray water tank outside the van might freeze. To use it, all you have to do is just disconnect this main drain line and connect this one. And this door right here flips down so you can use it for easy access to any of the water stuff in here or use it as a table while you're outside the van. It's pretty useful. Up along the ceiling here, you have four hanging cabinets and an open shelf. I think this open shelf is perfect for hanging decorative plants or books or blankets, stuff like that. And I think it might be my, uh, my favorite part of the whole build. I made it out of scratch, out of rough sawn white oak. It just came out really good. And I didn't put any cabinets on this side so that you don't hit your head when you're sleeping or getting up in the morning. The bed in this van is an eight inch full size mattress and it goes side to side. So in a Promaster, that means you get exactly six feet and two inches of sleeping space. Yeah, I can tell you that one without a tape measure. <laughs> to get a nice breeze going through the van while you're sleeping, you have two screened windows that you can open. One is in the back of the van next to where you sleep and the other one is on the sliding door. You can open one or both of these windows and then turn on your max air fan venting the air out and when you vent the air out you draw air in through those windows making a really nice breeze 
And next to you in bed here, you have easy access to all these controls. You have your light switch for your main lights, your Webasto heater control, your Max Air Fan remote, an outlet, a reading light, and also the air conditioner remote. Yep, I said air conditioner remote. Now the cool thing about this air conditioner is that it's running right now and it's really not too loud at all. It's actually a really nice white noise that could go on in the background while you sleep. And this van has plenty of batteries so that you can run this for a whole night and give you a nice cool sleep. And if you want to run it longer than one night, you can because it's also wired to run off of a secondary shore power plug that's on the outside of the van. The battery system of this van is housed inside of this box underneath the bed in the garage area here. It's powered by EcoFlow's 10 kilowatt hour independence kit. And like the name of it says, it has 10 kilowatt hours of battery capacity or 830 amp hours. That is a ton of battery capacity. To charge the batteries, you have dual 200 watt solar panels on the van, giving you a total of 400 watts of solar. And along with the solar panels there, you have two other methods of charge. One is off of the alternator while you drive, and the other is a 30 amp shore power plug-in for super fast charging. To monitor this battery system, you have a screen right here. It shows you information like the current charge level of the batteries, how much power we're pulling in. Right now we're plugged into the shore power here at the shop. You can click that and see the actual power curve live to see how much you're pulling there, uh, how much power we're using. Right now all we're using is the lights and you can see it go down as we use less. And then we turn that back on, it'll go back up as we use more. And you can even use this to change settings, such as how fast you want to charge, kind of similar to a Tesla. You just drag and change the AC input current here and click save, and it'll update to however fast you want it to charge based on the circuit that you plugged into outside. All of this can also be accessed on your phone through the EcoFlow app that connects to the whole system via Bluetooth. This EcoFlow system has all the safety features built into it, so you can't overdraw the battery and you can't overcharge the battery either. If you take a look underneath the bed here, here's your power hub that's also your inverter, and this here is your AC-DC smart distribution panel. To get access to your fuse box and breaker panel, simply remove this cover. You know, I'd say that the garage space in a van is one of the most important aspects of van life. Because if you're going to travel around to all these places, you might as well have all your fun toys with you. That's one of the reasons that I really like this fixed bed design. So you can fit all kinds of things under here like bikes or surfboards or snowboards, whatever your adventures of choice are. But to make it happen back here, we have this rubber lawn coin flooring and this super rugged aluminum trim. You also have two strips of L-Track running down so you can secure all your things back here. You can just pop in these ring holders here and they're not going anywhere. For some built-in storage here, you have these two shelves built into the battery box. They're the perfect size to hold stuff like shoes, boots, or bike helmets. Oh, and you can't forget over here you have your garage outlet so you can charge something like your e-bikes that are stored back here and a little light switch so you can see what you're doing a little easier. Again, if you're interested in purchasing either Sanibel here or a future van by us here at Kokomo, head down to the description for more information on that. My name is Ryan with Kokomo Vans and I hope you guys enjoyed this tour of Sanibel. I'll see you guys in the next one.